Welcome to a guide to the core setup and use of the LHM.gg platform. By the end of this tutorial, you will know how to configure each of the supported games to function properly with LHM, how to launch and use the HUD, and also modify the data that is displayed on it, such as teams or players. At the very beginning, let's make a selection of the game for which LHM will be used. You will find the button at the top. In this tutorial, we will configure LHM for CS2, but most of the steps for each game are identical. When you first start LHM and log into your account, this is the first screen you will see, the HUDs tab. From here, you can enable any of the HUDs you have access to. Depending on what plan you have and the game you're using, you may see the default HUD, Premium HUD, or Ultra HUD available there. Of course, you can add your own custom HUD here if you have one. We'll come back to this topic later. First, let's make sure that the game we want to work with and display its HUD or use other LHM options is properly prepared. So let's move on to game configuration. Connection between the game and LHM is handled in different ways depending on the game. For games such as Counter-Strike 2, Dota 2, or Apex Legends, we use the available APIs, while for League of Legends and Valorant, we use optical character recognition, which captures the contents of the game window and then reads visible game data from them. Rocket League integration in LHM makes use of Bacchus mod, which gets injected into the game and provides data to LHM through its own API. As this is a general setup video overview, we will not show or give specific information and requirements for each game here. So in the description of the video, you will find a link to our user guide where each game has a detailed description of the requirements and a step-by-step -step walkthrough of what to do. All we will say is that it is really simple and absolutely no exceptional technical skills are required. LHM is designed to be a seamless experience and does all the possible work for you. Now let's go back to the HUDs tab for a moment. Since you have already prepared your game at this point, you can already launch the game and see that the game data is displayed on the HUD. To do so, click on the Run Game button, which will launch the game with the appropriate configuration. If a particular game, like League of Legends for example, doesn't have this button, it means you have to run it manually as you always do. After launching the game with LHM for the first time, it would be best to run a replay of the game's match in order to see if the game is configured correctly. If a match is already running, launch the selected HUD overlay using the button with the monitor icon to the right of the HUD name. The overlay should appear and display data taken straight from the game. Depending on the game and the HUD you choose, you can already see the score, players, weapons held, or gold collected, among other things. If everything looks okay, this is the time to learn about the rest of LHM's basic functions and use them to their fullest extent so that you customize everything to your needs. Let's move to the Teams tab. In this tab, you will create your teams, which will then be displayed on the HUD, assign players to them, or create tournament ladders. Click on the Add Team button and then fill in the displayed data. Team name, short team name, country, You can upload a logo by clicking on the entire section or simply dragging and dropping a file in the section. When everything is ready, click on Add Team to save the changes. The added team appears on the list. You can edit it at any time by clicking on the pencil button or delete it by checking the square on the right and then clicking on the trash can icon. When you have a lot of teams and you need to export them to a spreadsheet, you can do it using the Export button. This will generate an XLSX file that you can upload to LHM using the import function. You can also edit the file in a sheet editing program, but remember to stick to the template so that it can be parsed correctly. Since we already have teams configured, it would be appropriate to assign players to them. To do this, we go to the Players tab where we add players in the same way as teams. Enter first and last name, nickname, country. Here, we will stop for a second to explain a very important piece of information. In order for LHM to identify players on the server, you must correctly enter player identification. This allows LHM to know for which players to replace the data you entered into the tool. Each game has its own way of identification. CS2 and Dota 2 use Steam IDs, while League of Legends, Valorant, Rocket League, and Apex Legends use in-game names. If you are already connected to the server where the game is being played, you can go to the Live tab and use it to check each player identification, but we'll come back to that later. Moving on below, you will find a list of teams from which you can select one of the already created teams and also add a picture of the player. Remember to save the changes 
As with teams, added players appear on the list. They too can be exported and imported. The Matches tab allows you to set up a match, including team selection, score, match date, and in some games, also the ability to set up a veto. It will allow you to display additional data depending on the HUD, such as the score, veto history, or even show the entire veto process. Click on the Create New button to proceed. A match editing window will open for you. Assign both teams and, if the match has already started, their current scores. Set the best of, depending on how many matches will be required to win, and optionally the date of the event. On the right, users of the CS2 and Valorant implementations can see the veto process. When you click on the button with the pencil icon, you can choose what happens in that phase. Pick, ban, or decider. The phases are in order from top to bottom. You can determine who won a particular map using the whistle icon. Click on it, then enter the score and select the winning team. When you have finished setting up the match, save and exit and then click on this button. This will allow the data of the teams, score, and veto that are displayed on HUD to be pulled from this match. Before we move on to running the HUD, we'll cover one more tab. CG Mode is a tab that allows you to instantly add and modify data from the teams, players, and matches tabs. It is best used in full screen mode and its modules can be moved. It is a valuable option for those who want to manage their data during an event, but can also be used for regular work. If you are already familiar with the other tabs covered so far, you will easily manage this, so go ahead and try it for yourself. As we already know how to configure the data that's displayed on the HUD, we can now move on to minor modifications of the HUD itself using the available options in HUD settings. To access the HUD settings, click on the gear icon to the right of the HUD section. At the top of the window, you will see a few pages. Go to the ones that interest you and make changes. For example, using the settings for CS2 Ultra HUD, I will add a sponsor image, change the HUD layout, and change the color scheme. Remember to always save your changes and refresh the HUD if it is running. Each HUD has different settings, so it's always a good idea to take a look at what you can customize. Some options can be activated with keybinds. To explore or modify them, click on Configure Keybinds or Open LHM Settings and click on Manage next to Keybinds. At the top, you can see the global settings for all HUDs, while at the bottom, you can see all your HUDs uploaded in LHM. Click on Expand to open the list of the HUD for which you want to make modifications. To do this, click in the Keybind field, press the desired key combination on your keyboard, and then confirm the change with the check mark. Let's return to the HUDs tab and take another peek at the other buttons next to the HUDs. Toggle HUD URL will display a link to a HUD you can run in your browser or add it to the Livestream tool as a browser source. Click on the link to copy it. The next button will allow you to create a shortcut on the desktop. Clicking on the shortcut will launch the HUD. By default, keybinds do not work when the window with the HUD is not on, so the Toggle HUD Keybinds option allows you to use keybinds despite the lack of a window, for example when using a HUD as a browser source. We can quickly discuss the topic of custom HUDs. Anyone can make their own HUD, but there is a need for knowledge of technologies such as TypeScript and React. If you don't have such skills, then you can contact us. LHM's team offers comprehensive HUD implementations, starting with discussing requirements and preparing an estimate, HUD design, development, and QA. You can find all the information on our website, including our case studies, link in the description. That would be it when it comes to the HUDs tab. Now let's move on to the remaining basic features. When you are connected as a spectator on a game server, you'll see all the players who are participating in the game in the Live tab. This is very useful for quickly modifying players or just viewing their Steam ID or nickname to identify them. This will also come in handy in the next feature we are about to move on to. Now we will cover LHM quick, something that can help you in your first sessions of using LHM or when you need to set up a match quickly. LHM quick will guide you step by step through creating teams and players. You can also use existing data, which will have an unlink button when selected. This is because all the data you configure while using quick will be added to teams and players tabs. Players can be filled in from the live tab, so all you will have to do is enter their data. 
After that, you can select and run the HUD of your choice. You will have the choice of running the game or exiting the quick with the HUD launched. At the very end, let's discuss a very important feature for staff of several people or users who simply use LHM on multiple devices. LHM Cloud Storage stores all your data such as teams, players, matches, tournaments, and even HUDs along with their settings and much more in the cloud. Using LHM on several devices at the same time with LHM Cloud Storage enabled, all the data you add or edit will update instantly on all PCs. Additionally, if the system detects a conflict between files, for example, when you edit some data with cloud storage turned off, it will ask you what you want to do about it, upload local files, or download them from the cloud. This concludes the basic setup and universal features available in LHM. Now you should be able to run the HUD, configure it to your needs, and also add players, teams, match settings, and tournaments that will be displayed on it. To learn about other more advanced features or the capabilities for games that LHM supports, check out other videos on our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, problems, or are interested in custom HUD implementation service, feel free to contact us on our Discord channel or via email. You will find all necessary links in the description of the video. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.